In this video, I want to show you how to authenticate to a WooCommerce store using JWT or JSON Web Tokens. JSON Web Tokens is a way where you can authenticate and get a token you can pass to the WooCommerce store to act as an authentication method. The plugin I recommend is Simple JWT. You get a link for this below in the main body of the blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link to it from there. Once you've installed it, you get a set of simple JWT options. It looks like this. So we've got some general options where we can switch on various ways to uh, authenticate. So we can use a, a query parameter, we can use sessions, we can use cookies, we can pass something in a header. I'll show all of these in a the minute. Then we have a way to auto login. So this is more of using uh, a front-end application rather than perhaps an application. So you could go to this particular endpoint, pass your JWT token to it, and then log in and redirect. We've got things to register, deletes users, reset passwords. We're not going to touch on any of that. We're just going to look at one, requesting a JWT token, which will be this authentication. So we need to uh, allow it and then we need to set with what the payload returns. So what that gives us an endpoint, we can pass our email and password to WooCommerce once, we get a token back, and then we just need to pass that token in our header each time, and we'll stay authenticated. So I've set up Postman, just to show you what that looks like. So uh, here's my REST route. We're going to log in with this user. This user has been deleted, so don't try and hack me, please. If we send that and it's a valid user email and password, we'll then return this token. So we just decode that and we'll see what's in it. I'll include a link to this JWT decoder. It gives us a time it was issued, an expiry date, who the user is, who the user ID is, the site, username, etc. And this token is valid to log in as this particular user until the expiry, which is at the time recording this, May the 10th at 11.47. Um, that's about an hour's worth of, um, an hour's worth of validation. We can change the Refresh time, see so you only want it to be valid for 15 minutes. You can do that. We can also test to see that it's valid by making sure it's coming from the same domain, the ISS, issue who created this token. So we've created our token, how do we use it to log in? So I have a request for order number 20172. We can either pass it as a parameter or we could pass it in the header with a key of authorization and then just pass that key in like that. Let's have a quick demo of it. So we're trying to access order 20172 without it, it says it's protected. Pass in our GWT token. So here's our order 20712, it's a bit prettier. And we've been able to record all that JSON data for that particular order using JWT tokens. So let's talk that through again. Log in once, get your token, pass the token in the header or as a query parameter, you're authenticated as that user, and you can access the WooCommerce data accordingly. If you need help setting up JWT for your project, please get in touch, neilmatthews.com and click on the WooCommerce developer link. I look forward to working with you.